Hi, I'm Jeff Mawson, Application Engineer here at Advantech. Today I'd like to demonstrate how to recover from one of the common causes of no video output display in Windows. Uh, this can happen on any mobile, uh, low-powered, or embedded chipset uh, using the Windows operating system. Uh, for our demo today, we'll be using the ARC 3440 Core i7 Fanless Embedded Computer and the FPM 3171 17-inch industrial grade touch monitor. Now, our low-powered systems use embedded uh, chipsets that were originally designed with laptops in mind. Uh, however, this has the side effect of this video display issue uh, due to the way that Intel designed their video output system. Uh, now, if you're using LBDS as your video output, this will not affect you. The problem arises when you run Windows without a display device plugged in. Without a display device, Windows will default to the LVDS output whether or not it exists or is connected. Uh, until manually told to uh, output to the DVI, VGA, or HDMI output again, uh, it will stay on LVDS. Now there are a few ways to fix this, and it depends on your version of Windows and your version of the Intel driver. The first and easiest solution is keyboard shortcuts, as long as Windows is booting up and logging in properly. You can also reinstall your graphics driver from failsafe video mode, uh, or if you have remote desktop software already installed, you can log in and manually enable your video device uh, via display properties. Uh, now, first I'll guide you through uh, these steps on Windows XP. We have here a Windows XP system um, it's fully on, it's been booted up for a while. The output is plugged in, the monitor is on, we're not getting any, anything on the display. It's a simple keyboard shortcut, it's just Control Alt F1, and in a couple of seconds the display turns back on, everything's good. We fixed the problem. Now if the keyboard shortcut method doesn't work, uh, then you'll need to boot into a failsafe video mode and manually uninstall the drivers. Uh, to do that, first thing you're going to want to do is uh, hold down the power button for about five seconds to force it to shut off. Alright, next we'll power up the system and we're going to need to catch the F8 menu. As soon as you see video output, right now, start hitting F8 and uh, now we're going to enable VGA mode. Select it, press enter. And one more time. Now we'll boot into a failsafe mode using uh, default video settings on any video output it has available, including your VGA, HDMI, or DVI output. Once uh, Windows is fully booted, you'll want to get into the device manager to uninstall your display device. Uh, easiest way to do that is going to start, right click on my computer, say properties, and then go to the hardware tab, device manager, and we'll want to find it in display properties, and here we are, Intel Graphics Media Accelerator. Right click on that and select uninstall. And we'll give you a confirmation, say OK. And once it's done uninstalling, it'll ask you to reboot. Go ahead and select yes. You don't have to worry about any F8 menu on this reboot. Uh, it's going to boot into normal Windows, uh, but without a video driver installed. All right, now we've uh, booted back into Windows, and you'll be prompted with this found new hardware wizard. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cancel it so that we can uh, install the video driver properly. Uh, now, if your computer was set up by Advantech originally, then the video driver will be preloaded uh, on the computer in the C drive under drivers and VGA. Uh, if it's not available here, you can download it from our support website uh, in the link below. Now we're just going to run setup and go through the standard install. Just all the standard options are fine. And once this is done, uh, we will reboot back into Windows and the driver should be all set. Okay, uh, we've now booted fully back into Windows and the display driver is uh, installed. We've got our native resolution again. Everything's working great. 
Uh, if that did not solve your problem, uh, you've probably got something else wrong with your system and you'll want to contact Advantech support uh, at buy.advantech.com. Uh, that will conclude our demonstration of recovery, recovering from the typical causes of no display output in Windows XP, part of our Advantech iPlanet series. Uh, to recover in Windows 7, uh, please stay tuned to our next video. To learn more about these products, please visit us at buy.advantech.com. Thanks for watching.